Hello, you're listening to Moro Radio. Um, and we're on You'll Know Us by the Trail of Death. Yes, we are. And you can listen to us and watch us at the same time. Wagner. Uh, Chopin. Primitive man's beating on rocks. Mm. The sound of the rain and the wind. The sound of an earthquake taking away my oceanfront property. One hand clapping. The blinking of an eye. The sound of a weeping child. <laughs> First, God created the heavens, and then there was a great flood, and then made six records, and this is our sixth. <laughs> this is the story of the band. <laughs> this is the story of the band. <laughs> but getting back to David, we were uh, spawned out of fire and brimstone. The brow of Zeus. And that's where the name comes from. <laughs> Loud, fast, slow. Quiet, angry, sad, happy, jubilant, expressive, beautiful, inspirational, demonic, angelic, a paradox, provocative, vacuous, limp, erect, profound, shallow. Um, Ambitious, ambiguous, <coughs> demented and sad but social, nomadic, opulent, Spartan, sacrosanct, devious, juvenile, Let's see. sophisticated, adolescent, beautific, uh, crackwiller. Um, gourmet, uh, gastronomique, <laughs> wunderbar, salty and piquant, yet at the same time robust and uh, s salacious, textures of sandpaper. And slimy sea urchins. With a touch of uh, rococo. <laughs> Modern yet classical. I think that about sums it up, don't you? Yeah, I think so. It's about many things, I guess, in the end. It's, it's about... Prophetic visions of the future to touching on subjects of early childhood and uh, the traumas that ensued or the, the, the beauty of, of one's destruction and self-demise. It's about a society driven by greed to its own destruction. Yep, there you go. It's about the consumption of the world's resources and the devastation of nature. It's about blatant disregard for the consequences of such acts and the failure to look ahead to a future world where uh, for uh, generations of human beings will have to live without the things that we take for granted, such as animals and trees. 
and uh, it's about the hope of preventing such things from happening. something that is heavenly, music is something that is, has a spiritual aspect to it that can't be ignored, and also its connection with nature, you know, because I, you, you evoke the sound of waves and the sound of, of rain, and, uh, you know, music is really a, a natural phenomenon in a way, you know, the song of the birds and whales. So those are some of the things that that song is, tries to address. That's kind of like three different topics in one song. It's a very yeah. metaphysical sort of, very kind of just very out there, sp space rock there, space rock gem. <laughs> well, there's a verse about yeah. you know the, the the desire to run away from people or from the crowd, you know, the responsibility of, of having to perform, um, you know, the, the uh, fear of having to get up on stage sometimes, and there's a, the talking about getting kicked out of school, you know, which I happened to meet three some, times. Something about spaceships on there? Yes. The, it's about dreams, and it's about prophecy, and it's about, in some ways, kind of believing in that lump of unrefined coal that is in, that you could say is every human being starts out as an unrefined piece of coal and believing that somewhere in there is um, a diamond a diamond, although I use the metaphor gold, although gold doesn't come from coal <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of the, the funny from that's kind of the funny thing about that song is that it doesn't have to make sense <laughs> it doesn't make sense <laughs> it doesn't make sense but it does make sense. Thank you. That is about, um, that is the idea of the point in the life of a young child when they realize, uh, when they grasp the concept of death and mortality. And they realize that one day they too will grow old and die. They, it's the, the first epiphany of knowing that you're not going to be a child forever, that you are an adult, that you are human, and that you are going to eventually end up as a skull, as a bag of bones, and return to the dust that you were made. That was kind of what that illustration is about. And, you know, all the little objects on the shelf and things are, are just kind of like different symbols. The, the elephant is a symbol of our, well, our label. It's our symbol of our, it's a bit, kind of a symbol that we've used as, in a, as a band. And uh, the different books have na the names of our titles of our rec previous records on it. Um, Les modes d'en français. Uh, mm -hmm. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Uh, je voudrais, um, je voudrais apprendre des français, mais c'est une chose très difficile pour moi parce que mon français est mauvais. Oui. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs>